Today's Thursday. The car has to get loaded up tomorrow. How's the left front 800 pounds? This shit is broke. It might be broke. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Whoa, good shot. This is not the end. Next Friday, this has to be loaded onto a trailer, shipped out to Vegas. What is it? The wheel! Woo! Woo! Too bad we have that <laughs> McDonald's ass roof. <laughs> Yes. I need a lot of energy. Yeah, you're not getting any energy. Today. You're, you're, you're. You know why you're not getting energy today? Because we were here to probably 11.30 last night. For some people that's not late, but for me it's late. We test drove it, it runs, it goes forward, it goes backwards, it does all these things. Today's Thursday, the car has to get loaded up for SEMA tomorrow. There's a lot of little bits that have to go on. Rocky's coming today to wrap the car, so it's gonna be like a gang of people just trying to get this car together. The big thing is that, that triple deck rear spoiler. It's super difficult to get together. Uh, so I'm gonna be cutting that. Angelo has to remake the rear diffuser mount and the rest of the crew is on the other side of that wall getting all the other cars ready. So it is a, it's a thing. If anybody says we did this other than the crew, they're full of shit. You better leave that shit in there. It's not up to me. Kyle, uh, you gotta leave that shit in there. Who the fuck is this now? Another. Who is that? This one backwards? Yeah. Someone's gotta hold the brake. I'm on the brake. I you know what it's tired of. It's 300 foot. Oh, it's supposed to be 400, but we don't have a torque. I don't know, 400 pounder here. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that shit's tight now. You in. Ready? Oh! You need the extra wrist in the back. You got the driver last night. Yeah, it was awesome. This thing's oh, amazing. It's the biggest smile I've ever seen you have, buddy. It was all right. Man, this thing feels so good. I have to mount the switch panel. I need to do the hoses for the, the air intake boxes with the can in filters. And then I'm done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We're, we're walking it, Kyle. We're walking it. Walking it out? Just walking it out the door. Yeah. You know it's serious when they got the glasses on. Yeah. We're installing our can and air filter with our filter box. Guy's gonna go right here. Just wait till you see it with both of them on, then it's gonna look hot. H-O-T. H-O-T. Hot. Holes drill around the firewall. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. I have to make the connector tube to go from the turbo to this guy right here. We'll have a silicone coupler here, silicone coupler on the turbo, and then I'll do a mid tube between the box and the turbocharger. Now we'll do it temporarily out of aluminum, and then when we come back from SEMA, we'll have enough time to make it out of some Tycon titanium two and a half inch tubing. <laughs> She's done. Wait, I just got to do a little thing right here. I got you. little bracer. Nah, nah. Look at that. I'll see you. Eddie drops it right on the car. See you tomorrow, buddy. Come on, see it.
What's up everybody? We got some Pennzoil Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic Zero W40. You know what's sick about our Zero W40 Pennzoil that we got here? It's the exact same thing that they run in our Honda IndyCar mode. That's sick, right? You can go to your auto parts store today and pick yourself up a couple quarts of exactly what we're putting in our Honda Ridgeline IndyCar. Indy truck. Hoonigan Indy truck. Our Honda Indy truck by Hoonigan. <laughs> Pennzoil Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic Zero W40. Get yours today. Don't feel bad about it. This stuff is completely carbon neutral. Go to your auto parts store today and get some. Yeah, Cody and I are doing a front end tow alignment. Because of the nature of the suspension, we know that caster and the camber is aligned the way we want it, but now we gotta do tow. We got our tow plates, one on each side just like this. We have these slits cut out on the tow plates and then we're taking two tape measures and we're measuring the distance, the way the wheel is angled this way. So as soon as we find a second tape measure, we'll get to, is no someone looking for, it. no one's looking for tape <laughs> We got our two tape measures, slide them in. So right now the back is 82 and a half, the front is 82 and 3 eighths, which means that it is currently towed Whoa. in by an eighth of an inch, which is pretty god dang good. Um, I would honestly say leave it. That's pretty goddamn good. Eyeball. It's all the eyeball, buddy. Why do you do this? It's hard to say no when Kyle's behind the camera. When other Kyle's behind the camera, you just kind of want to be like, now go away, man. No, I'm just kidding. keep procrastinating my work to just come back here and look at it. Even just the side pod just went on in the half door and that changes it so on it's cool. And now we got Rocky from 360 Wraps over here with his crew. They're gonna start doing stuff like turning the roof black again. We got the art H pattern going on. The next 12 hours are gonna be super transformative for the truck, it's super exciting. It's getting really real. That's pretty nice. Go, go. Dude, pretty slick intake right there. Those welds didn't come out half bad either. That's how we're rolling up at SEMA? Dude, this is, this is the new shit. This is what they're doing in Europe. Well, we just gotta set our wing angle right now. It might be right. Where is that right? Yeah. yeah right. Um, Get the angle, the angle, angle, there. Right there. Jamie, can oh, you- Oh, that ain't even close. There? No, you're yeah. hanging off the stand already. That's it, I'm calling Joe. I'm gonna get him on speakerphone. You're calling Joe? Yeah, I'm calling Joe. Hey, what's up? Are you there? I got you on speakerphone with the whole shop. Oh boy. Okay, All right. okay, we got the end plate on, we got the wing on the on the truck. The wing that actually bolts to the stand, which is it the middle wing or the bottom it's wing? It's the middle one bottom. It's the middle one. It doesn't fit then. You fucked up! <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this is too much to have. They don't hit each other? Yeah, they're good. Damn. For the record, Soupy nah, wanted me to put these. Soupy's theory is they hold better than rivets. I never liked the fact that people rivet into carbon or fiberglass because when you put a rivet, the way that a rivet holds is it's under tension in the hole. Because it's fiberglass, it's not malleable, it will just keep cracking and yeah. then it'll just fall out. So the yeah. rivet will fall out. I think I went to the top. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's gonna reinforce it. Alright, you can get the of it. No, they're not Whoa! So just try. Miss. See that? We've definitely been here too long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your side can come down a little bit. 
Get her in, get her in. Dude, this guy got <laughs> super glue in his finger. He <laughs> 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 I was like, you don't do that. Why not? No, it's cutting it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's nine o'clock at night. We just got the spoiler on. Um, dude, it's just a lot going on. A lot to do. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Drop their banana vibes over here. <laughs> oh, the pink bar is f***ing dope. Another day! Last day, Seaman Bill Cup. showing up late. Okay, we're not gonna get into that because it's not really his fault. It's more of a, uh, we're not gonna say. We got just a couple more things to just button up. We got the guys from 360 Wrap finishing up the wrap today. And we have to have a way to make the wing a little more stable. Like, I, I would do like a plate off of here. Like I just do a little plate with another flat here. And then you could weld a bar from here to like here. Done. You'd, you'd fix pretty much everything in one shot. But you can't do that because Soupy will tell you to do it again. Uh, I just want to make sure this is the right way you wanted it. I feel like this one right here to this will just, that, that'll just solve most of the problem at least until after SEMA. Like literally this only, only this middle part. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah? Like, I'm okay with that. Sweet. Sweet. Let's get on it. Guy concurred. Oh yeah. We've he been, concurred. We've been waiting I convinced him. Last day, car getting picked up at 3 o'clock. Good. So, Supi was saying I wouldn't get this done before noon. Hold up. It's 11.30. It's 11.30, dude. Huh? And this is done. Is it welded? Uh, yeah. Is it painted? Is it not installed? Is it bolted? Huh? All of the above. How much more stable is it? Uh... Uh, it's a little... <laughs> <laughs> one. Make a little mirror cap. That's just some ABS plastic. I got the other side done, so I'll check it out. Yeah, same look. So I made it into one piece. Seamless. Boom. They didn't think that'd go that smoothly. That was, that was nice. But every single bolt went into place. Yeah. Thank you. Good to go. We're good. Full build is worked down to this moment. We gotta know how much this thing weighs. My guess, 2169. That's my guess. I'm gonna say 21. We'll go with 2170. 1974. 1974! I said 1908. Soupy wanted to change his guess. Soupy really said what? He said 2030. 2030? 2030. This yeah, whole okay. build is right up here. You ready? Holy! Holy shit! Twenty-seven? Yeah. Will we start over? Yeah. 
How's the left front 800 pounds and then the right front's only 600 pounds? This shit is broke. It might be broken. So what'd you guys start at? Almost 4,000 pounds? When you guys cut the truck? We were really hyped when we cut the truck because the bare chassis was under 1,000 pounds. So yeah, we're gonna have to hire like a jockey, like a little dude. Uh, to drive this thing because it, it came in a little fat. We ended up at 2700. But, but we understand where that 2700 is. The goal was 2200 and we were gonna do composite everything. We didn't. So we ended up with steel doors. It still has the steel fenders. We ended up with fiberglass because we couldn't do the carbon in time. I think we could shave another like 300 pounds off this car. Uh, we, we just have to spend another like $50,000 to do it. So, you know, so race cars. Name, name of the game. Yeah. <laughs> what time is it? 3.05. We got the pig bar on. We're ready to push. Even when I had my shop, the best part of it was when it left. That means you're getting paid. It means you're getting paid, guys. Hey, finally! <laughs> Capping off the build. glue for Honda. Yeah, this is this actually came out pretty completed for a SEMA build. We built an indie truck, a Guys, Honda indie me? truck by Hoonigan. Not just that. Hands down, this is the best build that's ever come out of this building. I, I, ever. I would have to yeah, agree. Ever. Yeah, In, I, incredible work. Everybody, everybody involved. All the boys over the there, whole last team. This is going to be the hottest car to SEMA. This Woo! Year. Guaranteed. Who else is doing something like that? Grim, you're driving that in, Bluetooth, right? Bluetooth, yeah. nothing. We're hiding nothing. Anything that comes out of this building, it runs <laughs> on the way to SEMA. Yeah. It's still sunlight out. It's still sunlight out. Sure. The last time we were <laughs> slapping vinyl on wet paint <laughs> yeah. on a curing body kit. Let's load, let's load this bitch up. Let's load it up and head to SEMA. Yeah, let's go. Can I steer the boat? Whoa, whoa. You want to steer? <laughs> yes. We got to get our bar on. on that. Hold on. <laughs> hey, you got your foot on the brake? kind of ironic that Rod Mellon's car. Dude, what are the odds? That is so scary, just hanging off the end of that thing. It looks so good though. Whoa! Oh, you got, oh, Whoa, the chop, the chop. Yeah, give us 10. Yeah, chop. All right, I got it, I got it. Ready? Early fits too. You want the wheel talking? Going down, fellas. Here, here. Driving to the location where we're gonna see the ridge line, unload it, load it onto a second trailer, and then that will bring it to the SEMA location where we'll then unload it and drive it into the Pennzoil booth. Man, it's a lot of hustle and bustle right now. Hey guys, Alex Grimm here, here to fix your goddamn G35. Oh, let's go! It's got 450 horsepower, 350,000 tons of torque. <laughs> it's a hat is the, the power. Confidence You're literally you. completing the crane. No, I can up it. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're here, we're at the staging parking lot. Two days ago was, wait, how many days was Wednesday? Three days ago, we started it up and we drove it around the parking lot for the first time to see if we could actually get it moving. And it went great. Yeah. We're gonna take it over to the main lot and we're gonna drive it 
into the show because as everybody knows I, I guess i'll go selfie mode the whole meme at sema is that cars don't run our crazy indy truck runs and drives and we're gonna drive that son of a gun straight onto the Pennzoil lot and we're not gonna do a burnout and we're not gonna stall it maybe, maybe. Okay, we got big trouble here. The truck is about an inch wider than it needs to be to fit on the trailer. We're trying to contact like three different transporters to see if we can get them to come back and pick it up. What's the other option? Uh, we'll just can drive it or we'll push it. I'm down to drive it. I'm 100% down to drive it. We have to do an update. It's now four hours past the time that we thought we were gonna load the truck up. And then we find out that we've got Carl's trailer that's 84 inches wide, fender to fender. One, two, three, four. We're gonna take it back. We're gonna try to load the truck up. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow when we drive it off the trailer. Brakes aren't very good on this. We finally made it. We're here at the Hoonigan Burnyard at SEMA. Got the truck unloaded nice and safe. We truck's almost ready to go. Honda guys are warming up the truck. We're gonna drive it a couple hundred feet over to the Pennzoil booth and we got the front and center spot. Way to go! Look great. Hell yeah. How'd it go? Smooth. It's butter. I thought you guys were gonna drive slow. Oh, there's no slow mode. It's gotta, all go. Got a workout in, bro. You were you running? Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna pull it in with the pig bar or what? Okay, <laughs> drove amazing. Uh, we only stalled it once, and that's only because we drove over a chalk. But other than that, it's easy to drive. You get it going on the clutch and then you let it roll. And then when you get too slow, you go on the clutch again and you let it roll. How does it feel to have this thing part after all that work? Yeah. It's a uh, big stress relief now that it's sitting here ready to go. I'm stoked. Can't wait to go home and go to sleep. Nice work, brother. Thanks, bud. You too, Kyle. Nice work. You guys ready to thrash? Sleepless nights, 
long hours, trying to squeeze five minutes out of a second, but we did it, they did it. All I really did was talk shit so they could do it, but obviously we're here, so that means we did it. Oh, it's oh, this great. Is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is easy to do. <laughs> What's under the cover? What's under it? I like five bucks. It's cheap. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I just want to see it. You've seen it. That shitty picture you sent me. He sends me this oldest man photo of all time. <laughs> like he, could, he didn't even. You know, I made no effort. None. Man. <laughs> Daniel here to tell you all about Chris Forsberg <laughs> gets to build a SEMA car not allowed in the show. We are here in front of Pennzoil. When did you show up today, Sophie? I showed up five minutes before I was supposed to. Woke up at the butt crack of dawn at four, drove here to Las Vegas. So we could do this unveiling. Yes. And it is like T minus two minutes before we unveil this. God, I hope so. Let's get this show on the road. Yeah. They make really good coffee over at Pennzoil, by the way. That's what I told you, and you said, it's just coffee. It's <laughs> trying to be nice. Okay, I, gotta, I gotta go do the thing. Sometime late last year, Honda approached us, and they said, hey, we want to do something with you guys. We're like, maybe like a bolt-on Civic build. And then they said, we have an IndyCar motor, and we want to give it to you guys to put it into something. We decided, you know, a vehicle with absolute racing pedigree, the Honda Ridgeline. <laughs> we thought it would be cool to turn this into just the wildest track, hill climb, whatever build it may be, and we stuck this IndyCar motor in the back. With a ton of help from Honda and from HPD, our build crew, Supi and all of his guys, over I'm like four months, we put this thing together from a stock 2017 Honda Ridgeline to what you see today. Custom bodywork, fully functional IndyCar motor, all of the things. And honestly, it's been a wild, wild trip from Honda helping us design this thing to getting it running with Supi. And this thing actually drove into this spot, which is something we're super proud of. And this is just the beginning. We want to do way more with this. Okay, I just wanted to say thanks to the crew, Alex, Jamie, Daniel, Angelo, and Trevor. I mean, they slaved over this thing for the past four months. And I think it, it's pretty incredible. You guys want to hear it start? It's gonna be a minute. This is still an indie car, so it's got things you gotta do to, to start this up. Now you're gonna go work in the oil field, huh? That's right. What? SEMA, it's here in the Pennzoil booth. It drove here under its own power. We just started it. Huge crowd. It sounds amazing, but this is not the end. What are we gonna do with it? We're gonna take it to the track. So we're gonna take it back to the shop, prep it up, and we're gonna go racing, boys. Fully functional. Yeah. Honda Indy truck. We were expecting E85, right? Yeah. That over there? Well, they just told me that there is none. Where the hell did we get? Yo, where did we get? You didn't bring any of the fuel we gave you? That you gave us? We gave you four barrels of oh, E85. God. Oh, no. Really? Yeah, I mean, we're going like 100 feet. They want to pump 91 into this thing. Yeah, we're going to go to the gas station right now. We're going to get some 91. Sure. 